All right. Get ready to go take our morning walk. The rain has subsided. It's cooler. You know one thing about Memphis? <laughs> you know, you look, when the weather starts changing in the fall of a year, you will have to turn your heater on in your house one day, and the next day, you'll have to turn your air back on. Because it will be 35 degrees one day, one night, and it will be 75 the next night or the next day. So in the last two weeks, I have turned my heater on because it was cold in the 30s. And I had turned had to turn my heater back off and turn the air conditioner back on because it was 75 degrees. That's Memphis for you, baby. <laughs> All right. I'm wearing my shirt. But where's it? Just a hoodie. This a hoodie. This is a hoodie. My cousin, Vanity, Vanity Burton, my cousin Sharon McNeil's daughter, made for me. She have a business, and she do all the logos and monograms, and she will do that for you. And she will, and and, and buy in the hoodie too. And this is heavy duty stuff. So she'll do that for you, Vanity or Burton, Burton. But anyway, do that. Now, let me pull this hoodie off. <laughs> pull this hood off. Now, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Those of you and I'm talking about people in general. People in general. Christians, saints, sinners, pastors, bishops, evangelists, apostles, Church of God, Christ, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Catholic, Apostolic, Faith, whatever. If you want the truth concerning scripture, concerning the doctrine of Jesus Christ, concerning holiness, concerning Jesus Church, if you want the truth, if you have questions, concerns about anything biblical, any questions you may have, contact me. Me as a servant of Jesus Christ, called by God, sent by God, anointed by God, through Jesus Christ. I will give you what Jesus said. I will not give you my opinion. I will give you what Jesus said. I give you the book, chapter, and the verse. Okay? I won't make nothing up. I won't give you another view, like I heard a false prophet say years ago. Well, the Bible said this, but let me give you another view. No, no, I won't do that. I will give you what Jesus said. If you have questions on anything, hallelujah, glory to God. By now, I'm sure, hallelujah. Let's see. All right. By now, I'm sure that you know we only deal in scripture. 
That's what we deal in scripture. Not rhetoric, but scripture only. So if you have questions concerning anything, and you pastors out there, and you missionaries out there, and you mothers out there, and you presiding bishops out there, you supervisor women, you want to know the truth? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have no doubt, since the word of God been going for, your heart is pricked. Your heart have been pricked by the word of God. Some of you have realized you that, that we've been taught wrong. Some of you at a crossroad. You know the truth, but your pastor saying something else. And you don't want to speak against the pastor. Well, you better obey God. <laughs> now, you have questions about anything pertaining to the scripture, pertaining to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, pertaining to God himself, according to the scripture, have any questions on anything you hear us preach. Or anything biblical. Don't matter what it is. Anything biblical, ask your question. Not sincere now. Don't ask no silly question. But sincere. Ask your question. And we will give you a Bible answer. Book, chapter, and verse. Where you can go read yourself. We will do that. Some have contacted me and said, Well, I got a question, but I don't want it public. Okay. I have an email. That email address is Robert Dunlap, 1959, at gmail.com. All right? You that know me personally, you know my telephone number. Send me a text message. All right. We're going to leave it right there. Ask your question so you'll know. Hallelujah. Uh, did, uh, did, did, this is your opportunity. Ask your question. You've been concerned about some. You won't know the truth about some. Ask your question. All right, there are those that have said, I stir a controversy. No, it's no controversy. You just never heard the word God before. Anyway, ask your question. All right, and we will answer. Thank you for real.